Hello and welcome to another episode of Eman News. Catchy title, isn't it? This is the top five Piranha Award movies. I'll explain that in a second. Um, if you want to see my opinions of the top ten movies of 2011, click here. If you want to see the top ten worst movies of 2011, in my opinion, click right here. And without further ado, we'll get started. The Piranha Award movies refers to Piranha. It was the most recent movie I can explain. Something that is so bad, it's so good. That's what the Piranha movies are. Last year we had a lot of very bad movies, and some of these movies were actually so bad they were actually really good. We're going to talk about them right now. Coming in at number five, we have Transformers 3. Now, really the story and the acting wasn't all that great. Uh, Shia LaBeouf seemed like he was tired of doing movies. Michael Bay just kind of repeated himself and no Megan Fox replaced with Rosie Huntington who was nothing more than just something to s stare at. Granted Megan Fox was the same way. Still this movie is just wasn't really that good but the last hour or so the whole Chicago battle robot royale thing was pretty awesome made up for it so that's why it comes in at number five Transformers 3. Number four Hall Pass, the hilarious um, Owen Wilson and Jason Sudeikis movie. I mean, this movie was pretty bad, pretty raunchy, um, really not that smart. I think what makes the movie memorable is just like the small parts in it. I think what makes the movie so bad and so good is the small memorable, memorable parts it has, like the I Just Fake Child, uh, DJ's Mom, or you know, the girl sneezing at the bathtub. You'll get that if you've seen it. Um, it's just, it's one of those movies that, you know, oh, okay, Hawkeye's pretty interesting, but, you know, it's it's pretty stupid, and but it's funny. It's stupid and funny, so that's why it comes in at four. Number three, Sucker Punch. A lot of people hate this movie. You gotta take it for what it is. This movie is very stupid. The storyline is stupid. I didn't realize that it was all a dream until I saw the special features when the movie came out, but Sucker Punch comes in at number three for me as the Piranha Award movie because if you just put the action scenes together, it's a pretty badass movie of a bunch of hot girls just fighting each other and fighting robots and uh, dragons and stuff. It's a pretty awesome, um, it looks good, story completely garbage, but the action, the special effects, pretty awesome. Sex Snyder, <laughs> Sex Snyder, you did a good job, it just, you know, BSing with action and chicks. Good job. Number two on the Piranha Award movies goes to Horrible Bosses. Again, it's like Hall Pass. Pretty stupid. Not that smart. It's been done before. But I think it's just, it's also memorable in some parts. It's so dumb and bad. I, ca I caught myself saying, oh my god, I can't believe they're actually doing it. And Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny kind of makes up for the whole thing. He's hilarious and especially when he was high on cocaine. Really funny. And I think none of us will forget. I like to bend her over a barrel and show her the 50 states. It's pretty hilarious. And my top award for the and the Piranha Award goes to Final Destination 5. I know, you're like, what? Really? No, but in all honesty, I saw this movie. The 3D effects is really good. The story, which connected to the first original one, was good. You know, it's just the smartest one out of all of them so far. It, it, to me, this movie was the smartest of all the sequels. It was really fun, very dumb also, you know, the way people were dying. And I think that's why it deserves the Piranha Award. So good job, Final Destination 5. You did a good job. Yeah, definitely go check out, if you're a fan of the original Final Destination and you hate the crap out of the sequels, Final Destination 5 kind of brings it back all together and it's just overall good time. It's it knows it's bad and it plays on that and it actually is pretty enjoyable if you if you have fun with it. So Final Destination 5 Piranha Award, that is the top five Piranha Award movies year. Once again, if you want to check out my opinion on the top ten movies of 2011, click here. Worst movies of 2011, click here. Until next time, I'll see y'all on Eman Views Black.